Hello again, and welcome to uh, just five minutes of, uh, of discussion about uh, topics today in the workplace. And uh, just a quick reminder to show us all on this screen as that's popping up the four pillars of a really good, resilient, well-being workforce that can then that can then deliver um, the leadership, the personal resilience nutrition and physical health and also the culture and the team culture and today we're talking about communication John I think and communication specifically not just for well-being but for productivity and the real challenges it, it it gives us at the moment under lockdown to get communication right is pretty tough um, but use some thoughts on why, why is it important actually so go ahead yeah, I think it's really important, Mark. Yeah, um, I mean, we're, we're remote, aren't we? We're not seeing people. I think building rapport with, with somebody online, I think it's a skill. Um, we don't have body language to, you know, to refer to. So, so yeah, I think it's, 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 communication is needed more now than ever, being aware yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, so in terms of practically what we can do, because we'll, you know, you know when they get uh, surveys, John, of, of staff, staff satisfaction surveys, you put communication right in. That's it. That's the one topic everybody wants improving. And, and it's tough for the senior people, right? Because they're saying, well, what else do you want to know? And, and it's tough for the people down the organization. So, well, well, you didn't ask me about this or this or this. And it's really a hard thing to get right. But um, mm. some, some tips that, that, that we can offer between us. I think you had one there that we, we yeah. talked about earlier. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think one that comes up a lot for me, and but it's a very powerful one, is about um, opening and closed questions. Um, right. You know, what's an open question? Things like using the word like what, how, you know, those sorts of, you know, sentences that start like that, really good. And mm -hmm. what, they, what that does is it pulls people in. So it almost invites you to start opening up, um, you know, and, and online, that's what we want to do. We don't have a lot of opportunity to draw on body language, being in the same room, you know, get those like subtle things. Um, so yeah, drawing and pulling someone into a conversation by an open-ended question is a great way of doing it online. Yeah, and uh, and of course we often think communication is transmitting, right? Which is you yeah. know our jobs to communicate, and um, communication is two way, as we all know. So so there's a hell of a lot of listening, which means certainly remotely and online, working hard. Certainly if you're a team leader, senior manager, working hard on I'm going to listen now. Uh, so so a, a second tip I'd add in there just to reinforce what you're saying. There, John, is this this attitude that I'm going to go and consult in this this conversation rather than yeah, yeah. transmit in, in this conversation, and, and actually this time of lockdown, things like surveys, uh, staff surveys, informally team surveys, idea generation, um, things that we could do to uh, improve processes, they're all to do with listening, and to set an agenda where we listen to people, um, not just helps well-being but helps productivity too because we're bringing a their skills out and the only uh, the third tip that i'd offer at this point um is something we've learned isn't it john is frequent short online meetings not big long ones <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah 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 split subjects up set different times give people a break and and communicate much more short sessions but much more frequently would you go with that one Definitely, definitely. I've enjoyed the shorter team meetings, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some thoughts from John and I. We'll be back with you next week. And uh, thank you for watching.